Hello, my name is Oscar Moran and I work for AC Beyond. Uh, today, we're going to talk about the same thing, you know, wiring diagrams. But the last time we were talking about the uh, schematic, right? So we were left off that here was legend, right? So, and here we have, uh, oh, there is, oh, give an example. So we're going to have here, um, sorry, okay, we're going to have a switch, oh, sorry, switch, and a light bulb, okay. Now the other thing I forgot to mention that, let's suppose this has a number as one, this will be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, you want to put it six right here. Seven, eight, and nine. Uh, just, you know, an example. Um, so let's say over here it's going to be SW. Uh, this one we want to put LT on it. And over here it's going to say this is a switch, right? And this is LT, it's gonna be a light. Okay, light bulb. Wow. So the other thing also next to these um on the wine diagram, some of them, not all of them, on this was gonna say over here we're gonna have a number, it's gonna say six, and also this is gonna be also say six. Okay. Let's say you have um you have another switch over here, let's just post. You have another light here, switch two, and there's a light LT2. So there's going to be another switch here, right? And another light bulb. Right. So, and let's put it right here. Okay. Um, switch and the light bulb. So, on the legend over here, it's going to say six, and then this one's going to be eight. And eight. What that's telling you is that you want to know where the switch number one since this is LC1 and then is one. Okay. Like if you want to look at it and you'll be like, okay, you want to see switch number one will be okay. And switch number one is gonna say six on the legend. So automatically you what you're gonna do is you're gonna look for number six and you know that's here. Same thing at uh, the uh, light bulb, it's going to be the same thing, 6. But now let's see if you have another switch over here. Uh, 2, this is uh, 2. And it's going to say, okay, um, where, you know, where you want to find out where it is, it's going to be, you're going to look at it over here and it's going to say 8. Okay. <coughs> this is pretty much... Not all the wiring diagram has a legend, and some of them, like I said, some of them do have a number. Okay, now that we're done with that, now we have to break it down a little bit. Okay, we're gonna continue with the with the, uh, with the switch. Okay, and this time we're gonna put in a coil. Okay. Let's suppose that um, we're gonna have. We're gonna start off simple, okay? It's gonna be let's say this is 120, ah, uh, and this is neutral. So, <coughs> so, um, okay. This is okay. This is a switch. There's a coil. I'm gonna put S W, and I'm gonna put a uh, C on it. Okay. Now let's look at the. Uh, According to here, okay. According to this, I'm gonna have same thing as W, and it's gonna be a C means coil, and this will be a switch, right? Okay. Now, same thing now. This coil, a regular coil, I have a is a coil and it will have a set of normally opening closed contacts okay 
could be a relay or it could be a contactor. The difference between a relay and a contactor is that the relay is up to 20 amps, uh, up to 20 amps, okay? And a contactor is above 20 amps, okay? And above, this is the uh, contactor, right? And this is a relay. The only difference is to say is the amperage, but they do the same thing. And most of the contacts on the wiring diagram, they're gonna look like this, and the coil. They usually normally open, right? So this suppose let's say this is a contactor, just you know. Okay, so in the contactor, what happens is when the switch closes, the contactor coil energize, okay? On the um, pretty much, let me see if I can draw this. Let's suppose that this is a coil and there's an armature. And I have a set of contacts here. And it says another contact here. But hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. <coughs> so, this is contact. I'm <coughs> sorry. Contacts here, contacts here. Okay. So on a winding diagram, this is going to be look like most of the wiring they do like this. Okay. So. We know the power is coming in to here, and there's the coil, okay? We're going to use the same voltage now. So as soon as we use the same voltage, we have the contacts here. <coughs> Sorry. So now, let's put a light bulb, okay? And here, okay? So now, remember with the, uh, with the amp, right? So anyway. So that's... The way this is going to work is when the switch closes, you have CC, right? Over here is going to say C. Uh, let's say if this is one, you this this is C two and this is C three. Okay. Now let's suppose remember the line. Let's say this is five and this is six. Okay. We're going to continue on there soon. So on the coil. Over here, or maybe on the side, oh, let's make this a little shorter anyway. Over here, it's going to say 5 and 6. So it's going to say 5 here, comma, 6. Okay, Meaning that the coil, it's a contactor coil. Probably, you know what? No, it's just the coil itself. No, oh, hold on. Yeah. Coil and a contact. Well, anyway, let's suppose it's just a coil. Coil has two contacts. So it's going to be on coil, well, the coil is on 5 and part of it is going to be on 6, meaning that 5 and 6. So when this switch closes, coil energizes, closes this, and this will become normally closed, no, will become closed, and the light bulb is going to lit up, okay? Now, the way to read, uh, read a wiring diagram you have to look at the wiring room with no voltage. You have to imagine what happened when this closes. Okay? Because they cannot show you it's closed because it's, it's normally open. So you have to visualize what happens when switch number one closes. Okay? And it has the coil. The coil will close the contacts. Okay? Now to make sure on the legend, you're going to say coil. And the coil has five and six, which is five and six. Okay. This is now on the wiring diagram. And our pictorial, or a, a regular one, uh, let's just suppose that, um, let me see. There'll be the coil here. And contact this. So we know there's power, same power. So let's just suppose that. And then here, 
Oh, sorry about that. Okay, uh, power is going to go here. And remember, one is going to go to the other side. So this will be... Uh, this will be high and this will be neutral. Okay. And then the switch, let's just pause. They put a switch here. Okay. So now we have power here. Going to here to the switch. So we'll switch to the coil. From the coil, we'll have to go back to normal. So we'll go here, here to the neutral. I mean, normal, neutral. Then you have one leg coming to the light bulb and the other leg will go to the the other side will be here okay if you want to think about it this is C2 this is C3 okay and this will be C1 this will be the switch right here and this is the light bulb okay light bulb and this is the light bulb okay now the reason why I'm doing this because we're gonna be doing more electrical more wiring diagrams and I'm doing like you know baby steps okay trying to get used to it so if you notice that hot wire the hot one has one is a switch it's here then the other one is two which is here it's the same line though, but if you look at it, on the Pictoria it's going to look like this. I mean, you know, most companies make it look nice and everything square, but you know, it, that's, what it's, that's what it looks like, so, okay? Uh, pretty much that should be the, uh, for today. Um, don't forget to subscribe on AC Beyond. Find us on uh, YouTube and also on Instagram, okay? If you have any questions, go ahead and... Let me know. Anyway, so, good night.